Refining the Art of Muay Thai, uh, unfortunately, I've been the recipient of 300 stitches in my face. So to give you a quick rundown, my first scar, I had eight stitches when I fought my for the first time for Song Choi. I came back to Australia and I fought a gentleman called Chris Allen and he gave me five cuts. Uh, one inside of my head, uh, one under my cheek, uh, another one through the side of my eyebrow and then a big Harry Potter one down the center of my forehead where it had to get internal stitches to put my forehead back together so I could frown and then the skin on the top. So. It was 54 all up. Another time I was sparring in Thailand, I wasn't wearing a mouthpiece. The bell went, I dropped my hands, and my partner continued through with his uppercut. And I bit a massive hole through my, my front uh, lip and had to get another eight stitches put on the side. And uh, as they put stitches in your lip, it's a different texture to normal skin. And as they pull the string, you feel like a fish as your lip is blowing this. So, uh, that wasn't pleasant whatsoever. Another time fighting Yotsinglai, he cut me uh, a nice big one under the cheek. Uh, oh, this way, not this way, yeah, this way. Cut me under the cheek. He also cut me through the eye, and then um, also the other eye, also. So um, he's given me approximately about 40 stitches. So I, I thank you for that, Mr. Yotsinglai. When I fought Rafiq on the contender, he cut me down the nose. Uh, first, they put five stitches in my nose, but uh, they did a very bad job. And the very next day, the contender had um, insurance, so they took me to a plastic surgeon. They took the stitches out, uh, uh, soldered the skin and the muscle, so I was a much more neater fit, and put 25 micro stitches down my nose, so, so you can barely even see the scar now, thank goodness. Uh, fighting uh, Toby Smith, he gave me uh, two orbital uh, fractures, where I also had to get another stitch underneath my eye, another five, four or five stitches, I believe. So, and that connected up with another scar that I had from, from Chris Allen. So now I have like a, a big, one big one that joins together. So uh, it helps my laugh lines, if you will. When I fought Orono the first time, he gave me uh, 13 stitches down my eyebrow and another eight stitches underneath. And then when we rematched in the year 2000, he also cut me right down the center again on the side of my eyebrow. So that was another approximately seven. My forehead is almost like an AFL goalpost, but more so. I have lots of lines all the way through both, both eyebrows, um, through, across, up, down. Um, this eye was probably the worst. It's had close to, to 60 stitches in it, um, just in the eyebrow and the eye line alone. So, uh, I have very droopy eyes now because they've been so cut and so much scar tissue. If I, if I pull them down, there's no electricity anymore. They just stay there with both eyes. So. Uh, it's, uh, I dare say, uh, the best way I could do to make them look better is get an elastic band and make my forehead really tight and that's going to pull all the skin back. So, 